Hey Vikings fans, it's time for the Madden 2010 Week 6 predictions brought to you by the Viking Ship. www.thevikingship.net, your new favorite Minnesota Vikings blog. This week, the Vikings will host the Baltimore Ravens. This could be a challenge for the Vikings as they go against a tough Baltimore defense. First play of the game, Ravens ball from the 20-yard line, handoff, Ray Rice takes it to the outside for a gain of seven. Next play, they pitch to Rice again, who takes it to the outside. He makes man miss early, and he is off to the races. Wide open space in front of Ray Rice, and the Vikings cannot catch him. He takes it in for the 73-yard touchdown, and the Ravens are up 7 to nothing. Later in the first quarter, score still 7-0. The Ravens' defense forces the Vikings to punt. Good punt by Chris Bluey. Carr catches the ball with room, but a huge hit by Carl Payne forces the fumble, and the Vikings recover. The Vikings do nothing with the good field position, though, and are forced to try the 52-yard field goal. Longwell kicks, but he's short, and the score is still 7-0. About three and a half minutes left in the first half. Vikings ball, second and four from the 23 yard line. Favre is back to throw, and he has time. He finds Percy Harvin in the end zone for a touchdown. Score is tied 7 to 7. A minute 38 left in the half. Ravens ball, second and 10 from the Vikings 38. Flacco back, but he's hit by a blitz in corner. He fumbles the ball, but the Ravens recover. That brings up a very long third down. Next play, third and 19, Flacco drops back. This time he finds Todd Heat near the sideline. Heat is running and he takes it all the way down to the two yard line before he gets stopped. A few plays later, third and goal from the two yard line, Flacco pitches to McGahee who looks like he'll have room, but a great stop by the Vikings will hold the Ravens to a field goal. Third quarter, Vikings ball, first and 10 on their own 26. Favre drops back, Ed Reed intercepts the ball. He makes a couple nice cuts and he finds the end zone. The Ravens are up 17 to seven. Later in the third, Ravens are trying to pile on more points. They have the ball third and inches from the Vikings 31, handoff to Rice, but Ben Lieber makes a huge play and tackles Rice for a loss. The Ravens will try their own 52 yard field goal, but they miss. The Vikings are still down by 10. Fourth quarter, Vikings are threatening. Third and five on the Ravens 14. Far finds Jamar Johnson, who cannot get free from the first down. It'll be fourth and one. Longwell lines up for the field goal, and he brings the Vikings to within seven. Vikings have the ball back. Less than a half left in the game. First and ten from the 37-yard line. Far drops, and he finds Percy Harvin way downfield. 26 yards to the other 37 yards. Couple plays later, second and long, Far finds Jamar Johnson who gets a nice block from Bernard Berrien before taking it down to the 20. Third and 10 from the 20, about 30 seconds left, Far the throw and he finds Darius Raynaud in the middle of the field. Raynaud headed to the corner of the end zone and he's in. Vikings tie the game with under 30 seconds left and we are going to overtime. The Vikings get the ball first, second and two from the 31-yard line, far to throw, and he finds Shanko takes the ball all the way down to the Baltimore 23-yard line. But there's a flag on the play, flipping on Bernard Berrien, and that takes the ball all the way back to the 34, a net gain of three yards instead of 46. The Ravens' defense steps up, and the Vikings have to punt. Ravens take over at their own 27, first and 10, hand off to Rice, who bounces to the outside, and he has room. Ray Rice takes it all the way down to the 11-yard line before being caught from behind by Tyrell Johnson. The Ravens don't even risk it. They line up for the 28-yard field goal, and they win this game 20-17 in overtime.